Imagine a force that governs everything in the universe, an all-powerful superforce. Intriguing, isn't it? This omnipotent power, if it exists, would be the master key, unlocking the secrets of the cosmos, answering questions that have puzzled humanity since we first looked up at the stars. It goes beyond the four fundamental forces we are familiar with, gravity, electromagnetism, and the strong and weak nuclear forces, suggesting a deeper, hidden layer of reality. This concept of a universal superforce isn't just the stuff of science fiction, it's a genuine scientific pursuit. Researchers worldwide are trying to discern whether such a force exists, how it works, and what its discovery could mean for our understanding of the universe. As we embark on this journey together, let's first delve into what we already know, the fundamental forces that govern our universe as we currently understand it. In the quest for this universal mastery, let's first understand the forces we already know. Gravity, electromagnetism, strong nuclear force, and weak nuclear force. The four pillars of our universe, each one distinct, each one essential, each one playing a unique role in the cosmic symphony that is our universe. Let's begin with gravity, the most familiar of the four. It's the force that keeps our feet firmly grounded on Earth, the force that guides the moon around our planet, and the force that keeps the planets in their orbits around the sun. Despite its omnipresence in our daily lives, gravity is actually the weakest of the four forces. Next, we have electromagnetism. This force governs the interactions of charged particles. It's the reason why magnets stick to your fridge, why your hair stands on end when you rub a balloon on it, and why light, which is an electromagnetic wave, travels through space. Then we have the strong nuclear force. This force is, as the name suggests, incredibly strong. So strong, in fact, that it overcomes the repulsion between protons in the nucleus of an atom, binding them together. Without the strong nuclear force, atoms wouldn't exist, and neither would we. Finally, there's the weak nuclear force. This force is responsible for certain types of radioactive decay. It's the force that powers the sun, turning hydrogen into helium and releasing the energy that warms our planet. These four forces, gravity, electromagnetism, strong nuclear force, and weak nuclear force, govern everything from the tiniest particles to the largest galaxies. But despite their differences in strength and function, physicists have long speculated that these forces may not be so distinct after all. Could there be a unifying force that governs these fundamental forces? Let's delve into the history of this question. Throughout history, scientists have sought a unifying force in physics. This quest has been a fascinating journey, marked by brilliant minds and groundbreaking theories. Let's trace back to the 19th century, when James Clerk Maxwell unified electricity and magnetism into a single force, electromagnetism. His equations paved the way for understanding light as electromagnetic waves and sparked the idea of unifying other fundamental forces. Fast forward to the 20th century and enter Albert Einstein, a man whose name became synonymous with genius. His theory of relativity gave us a new understanding of gravity, not as a force, but as the curvature of space-time caused by mass and energy. Einstein spent the latter part of his life seeking a unified field theory that could reconcile gravity with electromagnetism, but to no avail. His pursuit, though unsuccessful, inspired generations of physicists to continue the quest. Enter the era of quantum mechanics, a field that shook the foundations of our understanding of nature. It explained the world of the extremely small, where particles behave in ways that defy classical physics. Yet it remained incompatible with Einstein's theory of gravity, further compounding the challenge of unification. Theorists like Abdus Salam, Sheldon Glashow and Steven Weinberg made significant strides in the late 20th century, proposing the electroweak theory. This theory combined electromagnetism and the weak nuclear force, earning them the Nobel Prize in physics. This was a major step towards a unified theory, but with two forces still unaccounted for gravity, and the strong nuclear force. As we ventured into the 21st century, theories such as string theory and loop quantum gravity emerged, proposing radical ways to reconcile gravity with quantum mechanics and achieve the elusive unification. These theories are still being developed and tested as the quest for the all-powerful superforce continues. These efforts laid the groundwork for the concept of an all-powerful superforce. Today, we stand on the shoulders of these scientific giants, Looking forward to the day when this superforce, the holy grail of physics, is finally within our grasp.
Enter the Grand Unified Theories, or GUTS, attempts to unify electromagnetism and the weak and strong nuclear forces. These theories, as grand as their name suggests, propose a single all-encompassing force that could explain the behavior of these three fundamental forces. The idea is akin to finding a common language that gravity, electromagnetism and nuclear forces all speak. The motivation behind developing guts is as compelling as the theories themselves. You see, our universe is a realm of unity and symmetry, where patterns repeat and principles echo across scales. If the fundamental forces are different expressions of the same entity, it could provide a unified and elegant description of the universe. In the world of guts, the strong, weak and electromagnetic forces merge into one at extremely high energies, energies that would have existed only fractions of a second after the Big Bang. This might sound like a far-fetched idea, but it's not without its merits. The successful unification of electromagnetism and the weak nuclear force into the electro-weak force, for instance, lends credibility to the pursuit of further unification. However, guts are not without their limitations. While they successfully merge three of the four fundamental forces, they leave out gravity, the most familiar force to us. Moreover, they predict the occurrence of certain events like proton decay, which have not been observed in experiments. Despite these hitches, guts continue to play a crucial role in our understanding of the universe. They challenge us to probe deeper, to question, and to seek a more profound truth about the nature of reality. But the unifying quest doesn't stop there. Let's unravel the role of string theory in this quest. String theory, a unique perspective, attempts to unify fundamental forces by postulating the existence of tiny vibrating strings of energy rather than point-like particles. String theory introduces a harmonious symphony to the universe's fundamental building blocks. Every piece of matter, every force, is the result of a string's unique vibrational pattern. A change in the pattern, akin to a change in the note played by a violin string, results in a different particle or force. This elegant idea suggests a deep unity underlying the diverse phenomena we observe, but string theory doesn't stop there. It boldly ventures into the realm of higher dimensions. We're accustomed to thinking in three dimensions of space and one of time, but string theory suggests there may be more, as many as seven additional spatial dimensions. These extra dimensions, compact and hidden from our everyday perception, could provide the stage for the strings to dance, their intricate choreography weaving the fabric of reality. The forces we perceive in our three-dimensional world could simply be the shadows of interactions happening in these higher dimensions. Such a perspective revolutionizes our understanding of the universe. It proposes that all forces, all particles, are different aspects of the same fundamental entity. It also hints at the possibility of a grand unification, where gravity, often the outcast in the realm of quantum mechanics, could be incorporated into the same framework as the other forces. However, string theory is not without its challenges. Testing its predictions is notoriously difficult due to the incredibly small scale of the strings and the energy scales associated with the extra dimensions. Moreover, string theory has yet to provide a definitive formulation, leading to a multitude of versions. Despite these hurdles, string theory continues to inspire physicists with its promise of a unified understanding of the universe. As we refine our mathematical tools and improve our experimental techniques, we hope to peer deeper into the universe's symphony and perhaps one day discern the melody of the strings. While string theory opens new dimensions, the discovery of the Higgs boson brought another breakthrough. The Higgs boson, often called the God particle, holds significant implications for our understanding of the universe. This elusive particle was first proposed in the 1960s by physicist Peter Higgs and others. But it wasn't until 2012 that scientists at the Large Hadron Collider in Geneva, Switzerland were able to confirm its existence. The Higgs boson is the key to understanding why particles have mass. It's associated with a field of energy that permeates all of space known as the Higgs field. When other particles pass through this field, they acquire mass. Imagine it like a cosmic molasses, slowing down particles as they move through it, thus giving them mass. This fascinating discovery has profound implications for our understanding of the universe. It supports the standard model of particle physics, a theory that describes 
how particles and forces interact. The existence of the Higgs boson fills in a critical piece of the puzzle, helping to validate the model. However, the Higgs boson also opens up a new field of inquiry, mass unification. This is the idea that all particles might have been massless just after the Big Bang and only gained mass as the universe cooled and the Higgs field became active. If this theory holds true, it could represent a significant step towards the goal of a universal superforce. It suggests a time when all particles and forces were unified before the universe cooled and they split apart. This idea of unification is a cornerstone of many grand unified theories and discovering the God particle brings us one step closer to understanding this cosmic unity. As we delve deeper into the universe, we encounter its mysterious components, dark matter and dark energy. Dark matter and dark energy, the enigmas of the universe, may hold the key to our quest for a superforce. These elusive components, making up roughly 95% of the universe, are yet to be fully understood. Their existence, inferred from their gravitational effects, continues to baffle scientists across the globe. A dark matter, invisible and untouchable, does not interact with light or any other form of electromagnetic radiation, yet its gravitational pull helps hold galaxies together. Without it, stars would spin out of their galaxies, much like a carousel out of control. But what exactly is this dark matter? Could it be a new type of particle yet to be discovered, or is it something entirely different? The mystery deepens as we delve further. Dark energy, on the other hand, is the force that is driving the universe to expand at an accelerating rate. It's like an anti-gravity force pushing galaxies apart. Could this be the fifth fundamental force we've been searching for, or is it a property of space itself? These questions still remain unanswered. Now imagine if we could somehow understand and even harness these dark elements. Their role in the universe suggests an intimate connection with the fundamental forces. Could they be the missing pieces in our grand puzzle, the key to unifying all forces? Theories abound. And while none have been proven conclusively, the quest continues. Cracking the code of dark matter and dark energy could potentially lead to the discovery of new physics. It might even bring us one step closer to the elusive theory of everything, a unified theory that ties together all physical aspects of the universe. While we grapple with these dark elements, scientists are also searching for dark forces beyond the known four. The universe, it seems, still has many secrets to reveal as we continue our journey towards understanding its profound mysteries. Universal constants, the unchanging numbers of nature, hold a significant role in our quest for a superforce. These constants, like the speed of light or Planck's constant, are the fixed quantities that govern the laws of physics. They are the backbone of our understanding of the universe, and remarkably, they remain constant no matter where or when you are in the cosmos. Now imagine if these constants were interconnected, forming part of a grander cosmic design. Some physicists speculate that a unifying superforce may manifest in the precise values of these constants. If we could find a link, a pattern or a code within these constants, we might be one step closer to unveiling the superforce that ties it all together. This is a tantalizing prospect, but also a daunting challenge. After all, we're trying to decipher the language of the universe itself. The quest for a universal superforce isn't without challenges and controversies. Let's address them. The pursuit of a universal superforce isn't a smooth journey. It's filled with challenges and controversies. Unifying the fundamental forces under one grand theory is a task that has been both tantalizing and elusive. Critics argue that we're chasing a phantom, a dream that might never materialize. Some say we're overstepping the boundaries of science, venturing into metaphysics. There are also alternative theories vying for attention, each presenting its own version of reality. The lack of experimental evidence for some of these theories adds another layer of complexity. Then there's the ongoing debate on dark matter and dark energy, a mysterious entities that make up a significant portion of our universe yet remain largely elusive. Can they be incorporated into our unified theory? or do they represent yet another fundamental force we have yet to discover? Despite these challenges, the quest for a universal superforce continues, pushing the boundaries of our understanding.